Welcome to using Google Drive on iOS. Um, here I'm using an iPad version. As I open it up, we're going to have a look to see what it looks like when we open it up. Yours may not look as full as mine. You might have a few documents scattered around. You may have a few folders. I don't really know. Um, across the top, just where it says My Drive, there is a place where My Account is. And I can have a look at Incoming. That's a, a name for Shared With Me. Recent which is what's been edited recently, the most um, recently edited documents. My starred or favorites, these are the ones that I star, so they're the ones that I use three or four times a day. And then I've got the pin, which allows me to store something on my device and then I don't need the internet for it to sync. It just syncs when I connect back to the internet and merges all the changes. As I go back into my drive, across on the right hand side, I can change the view so I can go into a list view if you've got many things, you can go into a list view or you can go back into that kind of box file view. Um, and then next to it I've got the plus which allows me to add documents to my drive. Now the drive has changed in the last couple of months um, with the addition of the other apps for docs, spreadsheets and presentations. I can upload videos and, fi and videos from and photos from my camera roll. I can upload files such as PDFs, etc. And I can use the camera to put f um, footage directly into my drive. So I'm going to show you the other apps you're going to need in a moment when we're using Google Drive, because Drive is just more of a storage area. Really. This is just a kind of a shop window. And there you can see I've got docs just above it. There are obviously sheets and there are um, uh, spreadsheets for just like Excel spreadsheets and PowerPoint, which is just presentations basically. As we move across into the center, you can see there is a search box that allows me to search for things. So I'm gonna go and type in PDF into here and it will search for all the PDFs that are in my, in my um, drive. Where, where this becomes really handy is it searches right across not only my drive, but also what's been shared with me. And also, if you're in school, um, it searches right across what people have shared across the school domain. So anything that people, uh, there's different levels of sharing that we're going to come to later. But you can share things by person, by group, by the whole domain. So as I pop into this folder here, you can see I've got three different types of document. On the right hand side I've got uh, a Google Doc, and I've got Sheets, and I've got Form, and then I've got Slides. Actually I've got four, sorry. But Forms are just spreadsheets. If I tap on that little I in the bottom corner, this gives me all the information I need about this file, about this actual document. I can share it, I can remove it, I can move it to another location, I can star it, I can rename it, I can grab the link if I want to grab the link. So if I grab the link, it was showing at the bottom. I can go and change the name if I want to go and change the name. Um, and I've got more information, and it tells me when it was when it's modified, whereabouts it is. So it isn't just in my Google Drive. It's actually in, a, in an actual place in my drive called Google Drive. Link sharing is on, and it says who the owner is and last edited and who created it. It also gives you an actual time of when this is done, which is really handy when there's a eight, ten people all working in one folder. If I tap on share, I can share by individual individual person. And if there are groups in your school, wherever, then it allows you to share within a group. So if you want to share with all the students or you want to share with all the staff in a particular department, then you can do that. What you can do as well is you can also open these things into a browser. That gives you more functionality if you want to go that route. Next, what we're going to do is just open up that doc. Now, this will only happen if you've got the the docs apps. So you can only you can only edit these within the apps themselves if you have the apps. So if I go and open up my sheets, what I can do is I can go and open up the sheets app, and the same with slides as well. So this is the presentation that I'm using for this training session. 
So as I, as I double tap, you can see that I can scroll along and you can see that all the apps are actually individual apps and that Google Drive is an individual app itself and just the storage center. It makes life a little bit easier. I hope that helps, a little bit of a whistle-stop tour um, for the Google Drive iOS app. Thank you.